I'm often asked, what is the key to your success? And one of the keys is that having read the book Traction that talks about EOS, the Entrepreneurial Operating System. Many people have read it. I've talked to hundreds of people who've read it and they have had difficulty implementing. So I'm gonna share with you today a very special secret. My traction coach, my implementer, John Ward. John, welcome to the program. Thank you, Wally. So for the uninitiated, Traction talks about the entrepreneurial operating system. At its core, what is it? It is a set of simple, practical tools that any entrepreneur can implement right away to take their business wherever they want it to go. It's designed to help you with three things. Vision, and that's simply getting everybody on your leadership team on the exact same page, seeing exactly the same picture of where you're going and what you have to do to get there. Traction is all about getting those leaders to execute every day with discipline and accountability so that everybody's focused on and doing the right things every day. And then healthy, that's the one that's a little bit elusive for some people. Healthy is about getting that leadership team to become cohesive, healthy, working together, all pulling in the same direction. Now I know you, Wally, and I know you've worked with a lot of teams in your lifetime, and I'm sure a lot of those teams didn't play well together. This is all about getting those teams to play well together. From there, as goes your leadership team, so goes the rest of the organization. You got everybody pulling in the same direction, everybody crystal clear on what we have to do to get where we want to go. Speed of the leader, speed of the path. You got it. I know a minimum of 100 business owners here in town, at least 100, who said, oh yeah, I've read Traction. I'm like, great. How are your level 10s? How's your VTO? And they look at me like I'm from Mars. Many people, maybe a million people, have read Traction, got excited about the fundamentals of EOS, and not implemented. Why do most people fail in the implementation? Because if you're playing a sport, you can't see how you're playing. That's why every professional athlete even the well-known names, Tom Brady, Tiger Woods, all those guys, they all have a coach. And the reason is because the coach can see how you're playing in a way that you can't. So for me, as a business coach, as a professional EOS implementer, I'm gonna ask you the questions that you don't know need to be asked. I'm gonna ask you the questions You've that you don't wanna hear. You've also asked me the questions I didn't want you to ask. Exactly, <laughs> yes, exactly, that's right. Yeah, that's, that's true. So really, the key to implementation is, is getting professional guidance. Yeah, you can read the book and feel like you did something, but unless and until you commit the resource, commit the time to bring in that coach. You mentioned Tom Brady. He doesn't have a coach. He's got like five coaches. Yes, yeah. He's got a nutrition coach. He's got a flexibility coach. He's got a coach for everything, and I think that accounts for his incredible performance Absolutely and longevity. Right. Yep. How do you go about choosing an implementer, an implementation coach? What should I be asking to interview that person? So there has to be a, a connection between people. So if, if we are not on the same page about where you want to go, and I would also say this, if you really don't want anything different in your business, if you really don't want something bigger or better, don't waste your time or your money on me or this system because it takes a commitment. No sacred cows. Exactly, no sacred cows. Now, not every business wants to grow, and there's nothing wrong with that, but every business wants to grow, if not externally, internally, right? You wanna have stability, you wanna have a life, but not just have your business run you, right. you wanna be able to run your business. So whatever it is that you want, if you truly want it, you have to commit to get it. And so that's the first thing. Secondly, when you're interviewing an implementer, you want somebody who is experienced, who has knowledge of the system, and who has the ability to listen to what you're doing, what you want, and then ask you those tough questions. I've been approached by traction coaches who have not gone through the training and certification through EOS to truly have the authority, the expertise, and the blessing really from Gino, mm -hmm. that they can implement the materials. What do you say to people who are considering a coach who said, oh yeah, I read Traction, and they're not truly in the universe? Well, first of all, they, they have no uh, legal right to represent themselves as a, an, a, a professional EOS implementer. 
That said, you could go implement it if you choose to, as long as you don't represent yourself as a member of the community. One of the things that's fascinating about this system is that we professional implementers practice what we preach. The EOS system is not a franchise. I'm not a franchise holder. I'm a member of a community of professional implementers. To become a professional implementer, you have to first of all be invited to join the club. You have to go through training and then you have to meet certain criteria in terms of performance proving that you know how to do this and do it well. And the moment you're unable to continue proving that, you're no longer a member of the community. So there's some pretty rigid standards that yeah. we all have to meet in order to do that. You know from working with me that you, in your business now, meet every quarter with your leadership team Just to today. review where we've been, where we are, where we're going, right? All of us professional implementers do that every 90 days. Every 90 days we all get together, we learn from each other, we practice what we preach. So you and I have a common friend, he's a, a common client, I guess, of both of us in a sense, unnamed for this purpose, but you already know who I'm talking about. I think about. so, yes. He was the person that introduced me to the book Traction. I read it and implemented it more aggressively than he. This particular person says he is both a visionary and the integrator. The, what does he call it? The vision integrator. Yeah, he calls it a vintegrator. Vintegrator. Yes. Just so vintegrator. you know, I'm having lunch with him today. <laughs> and we're still working on that problem, but we're making progress. So what do you say to a, a business owner who can't, he's absolutely the owner, but sometimes the owner isn't the right person to be the visionary, or sometimes the owner isn't the right person to be the integrator, how do you encourage the business owner to sit in the appropriate seat and not muddle those two relationships between a visionary and the integrator? So I want to answer that question specifically, but before I do, I want to share with you an observation that I made actually at the last quarter when I was with my peers. We always talk about what's the biggest thing you've learned in the quarter with your clients. And my observation was that the Fear of and failure to let go <laughs> yeah. is epidemic in entrepreneurial organizations. And that's the root cause of the, what you're describing. So if you want to be a solopreneur, that's fine. You can do that. But if you want to run a business that you can grow and develop and the business doesn't run you, you've got to put the right people in the right seats. So the first tool that we implement with everybody is the accountability chart. Yeah. And what that is all about is identifying everything through the whole organization, every single task, responsibility, role that needs to be fulfilled by a human. And once we've defined all of that, then we begin to populate those seats to say who's best to sit in this seat. The process of doing that, first of all, identifies everything from who maintains the cleanliness of the restroom to who decides if we're going to do an acquisition and every responsibility in between, right? Once we've done that, it starts to become crystal clear that you, the owner, are sitting in multiple seats. Yeah. You can't sustain that long term. And in fact, in some of the seats you're sitting, you're not the best person to be doing that. The next challenge comes when you discover that there isn't anybody in my organization who's the right person to sit, for example, yep. in the integrator seat. So in the last year, I have had, I think, four different clients faced with that problem. And I've referred to them professional recruiters who specialize in recruiting integrators. Excellent. And they have all filled those roles and their businesses are taken off They're like thriving. rockets. Letting go is one of my specialties, you know what? At a leadership team meeting oh, two quarters ago, the leadership team decided that one of the companies we were running was a distraction to the growth of the core company, and we sold it. Wow. I didn't like it, mm -hmm. but I went with it, and, and it's been the right thing to do, yep. re remove the distraction. John, for people that would like to sit and have that conversation, learn more about traction, learn more about EOS, and learn more about how to hire a great integrator, What's the best way to get a hold of you? So they can certainly go to my website, businesstractioncenter.com. Lots of uh, video interviews there with people that have worked with me, so you get a sense of that. I'm doing a number of videos on there that also answer a lot of questions about how to run your business. Um, call me, 407-733-4318. 
email me, jward at businesstractioncenter.com. Um, what happens when you do that is I'm going to ask you a few questions about your business, learn about what you want to do, and then if you're willing, I'll give you 90 minutes of my time, come in and share with you and your leadership team how all this thing works. At the end of that 90 minutes, you'll know everything you need to know about whether this is for you or not, whether I'm your guy or not, or whether you want somebody else to do it. Excellent. I want to thank John for being with us. Full disclosure, he is my traction coach. And uh, I have nothing but good things to say. If you claim that you've read Traction and you've not implemented Traction, I cannot encourage you enough. Get a coach. Life gets better. Mm -hmm.